Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this gorgeous glitter license plate frame. Super simple, easy and inexpensive. So if you're interested to see how I did this, go ahead and stick around and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I am going to first pour my epoxy and I am using the stone coat quick coat on this. So this is going to set up pretty quickly. So you don't have time to really mess around. And I am going to pour it into the first line on this cup. Now we get, I get these cups at the Dollar Tree and, um, they work perfectly for measuring exactly what I need for this frame. So if you can see where I filled it to, so where it's just below the first line. So that's my part A. Now I'm gonna go on with my part B. So it's equal parts A and B. And I'm just eyeballing it because I have the lines to go by. All right, so now I'm going to pour these into my bigger cup. And my epoxy is thick because I didn't warm it up first. That is my fault. So I'm gonna get quite a few bubbles, but that's okay because I'm gonna show you how I eliminate the bubbles. So we're gonna scrape. So I'm gonna put you on high speed for this cause you don't need to see me scrape and stir. It's gonna take a little bit cause this is a little bit more epoxy. So I just wanna put that out there because actually as I was editing this video, a message popped up on my YouTube. Somebody said that they couldn't hear me over the music. So I just wanted to put it out there that I am not narrating here. I, I do have a little spot that I'm narrating, but when I'm playing the music, I am not talking or I'm not saying anything that I want you to hear. So I'm just, just you know, speeding it up and just putting some music to it until it gets to the end. All right, so right here I set up my heat gun because the epoxy was really, really cold and really, really thick. And so I wanted to warm it up a little bit. And so some people stick it in warm water while they're stirring. I've done that, but in a pinch, I will grab my heat gun and I will just put it next to the cup as I'm stirring and it helps warm the epoxy and thin it out. So my epoxy is good and mixed. It has some bubbles in it. That's okay, no worries. Cause we're gonna get bubbles anyway when we uh, pour in our glitter. So I am using, for this one, Twilight Sparkle. And I'm gonna mix some, this is a chunky and I'm gonna mix in some fine Persian Lilac. I don't measure, I just pour. So I pour in and I give it a good, I don't know, coating on the top. And then I mix in some fine and then I give it a stir. And if it looks like it's the consistency I want, then I go with it. If not, I pour in 
a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this. And I'm pretty sure I want some more. But like I pick it up and I look at the consistency by like just doing this. And if there seems to be too, too much breakage through the epoxy where you're not really seeing a lot of glitter, I just go ahead and pour in some more. I mean, prepare to use some glitter in this because you, you, you know, you're, you're mixing quite a bit of epoxy and this is, you know, this is a, it's not a little mold, so you can see how much you're going to use. All right. So I'm liking that. I am going to scrape the side of my stick. Put that on my silicone mat. And now we just pour. So it's really that easy. Make sure you have a level surface when you do this because one side will be thicker than the other. And you know that you don't want that obviously when you're, when you're dealing with epoxy, you want it to be level. So I am just basically pouring it around until it fills because this is exactly what I use. This is exactly what I need. And I've done a couple, so that's how I know this is exactly what I need. So I've done a few of these. All right, and that's it. It's that easy. That super easy. So, you know, you can scrape this if you want and get, you know, because epoxy actually, you know, like it sticks and there's actually a lot more left in here. So like I have these little molds that I made and they actually make these stones. I make these stones. So I took these stones, you know, they're the glass beads that you buy at the Dollar Tree or any of your craft stores and you put them in like vases and they look really cute. So I decided to make some molds so that I could make my own glitter stones. And I'm going to do something with them one day, I promise. I just haven't done it yet. So I'll pour it. See, I'm like, I can fill like a whole mold with just everything that's sticking inside the cup. And, you know, these are stones for you. You can fill them as much or as little as you want. And this is a ceramic tile. Um, it's a leftover from like a project we were doing. And I, I actually like doing epoxy work on it because one, it's easy to level, but two, because the epoxy, you just take a razor and it scrapes right off of it. So now I'm gonna have two purple stones that are gonna actually match this, which is really cool. So I'm gonna put this aside and now bubbles. Yes, you're gonna have bubbles. So what do I do for bubbles? With epoxy, I find my 91% alcohol and I just spritz it. And it's gonna take care of all those bubbles that are sitting on the surface and any bubbles that come up for a little while. So you're gonna get yourself a nice smooth finish with no bubbles. Spritz. Ooh. And don't be worried like about putting too much on because alcohol evaporates quickly. So that's it. And you're done with this. Now you wait until it sets. Okay, so while we wait, I'm going to do up the decal that I'm putting on the license plate. And I downloaded a program called Inkscape. It's inkscape.org and it is free to download and it is free to use. It's not that easy to use, so I do um, look up a lot of tutorials. And I'm doing this very quickly, and I will link down below a more detailed um, tutorial, the one that I learned off of. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to type my letter here, uh, the Create and Edit Text Objects, and I'm going to type the word Faith. That's what I'm going to put on there. Right now I've got it defaulted at Waltograph, but I'm actually wanna go in and change the font here to brush script, which I think is pretty standard in most programs. So you should have this. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. And so let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. All right, so now we're gonna use this pointer guy and it's gonna be highlighted we are going to do path, object to path, 
Then we're gonna go down and combine it. Then we're gonna go over here and change the fill in the strokes. So we're gonna go to the fill and we're gonna make that like a light color. We're gonna go to the stroke. We're gonna make that a dark color. And then we are gonna go and do union. So we're gonna go back into path and we're gonna do union. After union, we are going to group it. So you can, there you go, do the right click and group. Where's my group? There it is, group. Then we're gonna copy it. Then we're gonna ungroup it. Ask me why we do all this, I have no clue but just follow the instructions and it works, I promise. All right, so now we're gonna go back into path and we're gonna combine it again. Now we're gonna hit our offset. This is gonna create our outline. So we're gonna go back into path and hit the outset as many times as you want. So if you wanna do it a skinnier offset, you just do it once. If you wanna do a thicker offset, you go in twice. And then once you got what you want, so if you wanna do the fatter one, you're gonna go in to edit and you're going to hit paste in place. And look at that, it puts it right over top. And then you can just change the color. And so there is your outline for your faith. And so you can do it skinny or fat. I'm gonna leave it fatter. And so now we're gonna go ahead and save it as save as and go down into plain SVG. You have to save it like that, otherwise there's issues. Again, I don't know why. I'm gonna just name it Faith. And so now we are gonna come over and upload it into our design space, our Cricut design space. So I'm gonna shift you over to my other screen now. Sorry, everything's a mess. All right, and I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna upload. Upload an image, browse. And mine is saved and... So there we go, Faith. And we're gonna open it. Sorry, I have, oh, woo, stuff in the way. So here um, you're gonna see it's not lined up, but that's okay because you're gonna ungroup it. So you're gonna upload it and you're gonna insert your image. And it's gonna be super huge. Why, I have no idea. Every time I do this, it's enormous. And I think it has to do with the font size when I'm actually creating it. So I'm gonna just shrink this down to 10 for right now. And then I gotta find it again. There we go. Actually, whoops, shrunk that down way too small. All right, so now you can ungroup it and it doesn't really matter because you're gonna print, you're gonna print them separately anyway. So, you know, if you wanna line it up just because you, you need to do that um, to see it, that's totally fine. So then you just pick whatever color you want it to be. So I used purple. I'm gonna put the background black. And I'm gonna do the faith in purple and uh, I'm gonna resize it to it's got to be no more than 1.1 in your height for your license plate and so now I'm ready to print it all right so I will be back after I've printed this and I'm ready to unmold the plate cover all right so I am back I've cut out my vinyl and I just got to weed it and I lost my other weeding tool. I don't know what I did with it. It's probably on the ground somewhere where my daughter took it. So, and I, I have these that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So I have extras in case I misplace it temporarily because I tend to do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and weed these. And I am using the Oracle, Oracle 651 Permanent Vinyl. I won't use anything else because I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna hold up 
out in the weather. This is fade resistant for six years. And so the colors I'm using are black and lilac. So I have this handy dandy color chart from Oracle. I bought it from Annie Up Graphics uh, and this is what the chart looks like. I don't know if you can get one online. I think you probably can, but it's really great so that you can see all the colors uh, and color compare when you're working on projects. So just to put that out there, Annie Up Graphics definitely has those, at least they did, I don't know if they still do. And um, their direct website should probably have it too. You might even be able to get it off of Amazon. So first I'm going to take the smaller, the, the skinnier, and I'm going to lead that, off, take that off, transfer it off of the paper. And I'm gonna line it up over my black. And so I don't have registration marks because I, I just eyeball things, but you can, when you're making this, you can do the registration marks, which is what um, the tutorial shows you to the other tutorial, the one that's more in depth instead of my crazy fast blow through it. You're probably like cursing me out saying it, you're going too fast and stopping. Um, so here you go, have it. I love it, looks really cute, love this lilac color. So I'm ready to unmold this. It's still a little flimsy, and so I'm, you know, I would never give this out for a few days. I'm gonna, you know, I would let this set up for several days before I would even think about, you know, letting it leave a flat surface to go onto a car. So I've, I've taken it out, and sometimes you get a little bit, you know, a little bit over here, which is fine. It comes off so easy with a pair of scissors. You just cut it off. That's it. Just trim it with a pair of scissors and it's all gone and you would never know. So you just check and make sure and see if you have any of that. Cause sometimes that happens often when you, um, when you spray the alcohol to get all the bubbles out, it like thins out the epoxy. So if you're full, in your mold it's gonna come over slightly over and that's what you, that's what you get but again that's okay because you can easily trim it off and I got a little bit in this hole too if you can see so I'm just gonna poke this out with my scissors and that's why it's good to do it when it's softer like instead of letting it completely cure in the mold you can just trim it up and fix it up really good so this is the back side you see there's no bubbles Right, there's no bubbles and here's the front side super shiny love 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 this color all right and now I'm just I'm ready to apply my decal if you want to alcohol it to make sure it sticks better you can well, I do it just because I said I probably should do it alcohol that down make sure none of the oils from your fingers are on there and then I'm gonna line it up in the middle, obviously. I want it I want it to be in the center. So I'm gonna take my ruler and it's almost 12 inches. So I'm just gonna center that. And then I'm gonna make a mark at my six inch. Just a teeny tiny little Sharpie. Yep, I'm putting Sharpie on there. It comes off with acetone. And you can, you can rub it off with a little acetone. It's not gonna hurt it. I know acetone and epoxy don't mix, but it's mostly cured and it's like a little tiny dab, so it'll be fine, promise. All right, so take my decal off. I'm gonna fold my decal in half and just do a little crease and that's how I center it. And I'm gonna use the crease and I'm gonna line it up with my little black mark. And I'm gonna go ahead and center it and place it down. Make sure this is on really well. Where's my little, there's my little doohickey. And then peel my decal. Then I'm gonna get my Q-tip. Actually, I think it might even come off with rubbing alcohol. I think I did it with alcohol. Uh, take off your little black mark, your little lineup mark, and you're done. That's it, easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.
And so now here we have a pretty pink license plate frame cover that says Faith on it for anybody who wants to purchase. If you have any questions, any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, leave a comment, feedback. I always like feedback. See what you guys want because I do this, you know, for you guys. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe. And um, don't forget that I will list all the products I use down below. And that is it for this video. I will see you next time. Oh, and real quick before I go, I forgot to show you because I poured these. What these look like. There you go. And you can put them on something, in something, whatever. And I'll trim the edges. But So I got two new little purple beads. Okay, now I'm going to go. Bye.